Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting topic to explore cloud computing. In this video, we'll demystify cloud computing, discussing its concept, the advantages it offers, potential challenges, and how it's transforming the IT industry. So, let's jump right in. Understanding Cloud Computing To begin, let's define what cloud computing is and how it works. We'll explain the concept of the cloud, the different types of cloud services, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service, and the key components involved. Cloud computing is a concept that involves the delivery of computing services over the internet. Instead of relying on local hardware and infrastructure, users can access and utilize a variety of resources, such as storage, processing power, and software applications, from remote servers hosted in data centers. The cloud computing model offers several benefits, including scalability, flexibility, cost efficiency, and accessibility, as users can access their data and applications from any device with an internet connection. Additionally, cloud computing allows for resource pooling, efficient resource utilization, and the ability to scale resources up or down based on demand. It encompasses various service models, including infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service, providing a range of options for different user needs. Overall, cloud computing enables organizations and individuals to leverage shared computing resources and services, reducing the need for on-premises infrastructure and offering more agility in meeting their computing requirements. Infrastructure as a service provides virtualized computing resources, such as virtual machines, storage, and networks, over the internet. Users have control over the operating systems, applications, and configurations they deploy on the infrastructure. Examples of infrastructure as a service providers include Amazon Web Services EC2, Microsoft Azure Virtual Machines, and Google Compute Engine. Platform as a Service offers a platform for developing, deploying, and managing applications without the need to manage the underlying infrastructure. It provides developers with pre-configured environments, including operating systems, databases, and development tools, allowing them to focus on coding and application logic. Popular Platform as a Service offerings include Heroku, Google App Engine, and Microsoft Azure App Service. Software as a Service delivers software applications over the internet on a subscription basis. Users can access and use these applications through a web browser, eliminating the need for local installation and maintenance. Examples of software as a service applications include Salesforce, Dropbox, and Google Workspace. Virtualization Virtualization enables the creation of virtual instances of servers, storage, and networking resources, allowing for efficient utilization of physical hardware. Infrastructure as a Service provides virtualized computing resources over the Internet, including virtual machines, storage, and networking infrastructure, giving users flexibility and scalability. Platform as a Service offers a platform and environment for developers to build, deploy, and manage applications without worrying about underlying infrastructure, providing tools and frameworks for application development. Software as a Service delivers software applications over the Internet on a subscription basis, allowing users to access and use applications without installation or maintenance. Storage Cloud storage provides scalable and reliable data storage options, such as object storage, file storage, and block storage, accessible over the Internet. Networking. Cloud networking enables connectivity between cloud resources and users, including virtual networks, load balancers, firewalls, and other network-related services. Security and compliance. Cloud services employ security measures like encryption, identity access management, and compliance frameworks to protect data and resources from unauthorized access and ensure compliance with industry standards. Scalability and elasticity. Cloud services offer the ability to scale resources up or down based on demand, allowing users to handle increased workload and automatically provision or deprovision resources. Management and monitoring. Cloud services provide tools and interfaces for managing and monitoring cloud resources, 
enabling efficient provisioning, monitoring, and control of resources. Data analytics and machine learning. Cloud services often offer integrated tools and services for data analytics, big data processing, and machine learning, enabling users to derive insights and build and deploy machine learning models using cloud resources. Advantages of cloud computing. Now, let's delve into the benefits of cloud computing. We'll discuss how it enables scalability, flexibility, and cost efficiency, allowing businesses to scale resources up or down based on demand. We'll also explore advantages such as increased accessibility, improved collaboration, and simplified disaster recovery. Cost savings. Cloud computing eliminates the need for upfront capital investment in hardware, software, and infrastructure. It operates on a pay-as-you-go model, allowing organizations to pay only for the resources they use. Scalability and flexibility. Cloud services can easily scale up or down based on demand, allowing organizations to quickly adjust their resource allocation. This flexibility enables efficient resource utilization and accommodates varying workloads. Increased collaboration and accessibility. Cloud services enable real-time collaboration and data sharing among teams located in different geographic locations. Users can access data and applications from anywhere with an internet connection, promoting remote work and enhancing productivity. High availability and reliability. Cloud providers typically offer robust infrastructure with redundant systems and data backups. This ensures high availability and minimizes downtime, providing reliable access to applications and data. Disaster recovery and data backup. Cloud computing offers built-in disaster recovery mechanisms, including data replication across multiple locations. This safeguards data against hardware failures, natural disasters, or other unforeseen events. Automatic software updates and maintenance. Cloud providers handle the maintenance, patching, and upgrading of underlying infrastructure and software, relieving organizations of these tasks. This ensures that applications and systems are up to date and secure. Increased agility and speed to market. Cloud computing allows organizations to rapidly deploy and scale applications and services. This agility enables faster time to market for new products and services, giving businesses a competitive edge. Enhanced security. Cloud providers employ advanced security measures to protect data and infrastructure. They typically offer robust security controls, encryption, access management, and monitoring, ensuring data privacy and compliance. Environmental sustainability. Cloud computing enables resource consolidation and shared infrastructure leading to reduced energy consumption and carbon footprint compared to on-premises data centers. It promotes a more environmentally sustainable approach to IT infrastructure. Access to advanced technologies. Cloud providers often offer access to cutting-edge technologies, such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data analytics, and Internet of Things platforms. This allows organizations to leverage these technologies without heavy upfront investments. Overall, cloud computing provides organizations with cost savings, scalability, flexibility, reliability, enhanced collaboration, and access to advanced technologies, enabling them to focus on their core business objectives while leveraging the benefits of a scalable and efficient IT infrastructure. Cost considerations. While the cost savings of cloud computing are often highlighted, it's essential to understand the cost factors involved. We'll discuss pricing models, including pay-as-you-go and subscription-based models, and highlight potential cost management challenges. Pay-as-you-go. This model charges users based on actual usage, typically by the hour or minute. Users pay for the resources they consume, such as compute instances, storage, or network bandwidth. It offers flexibility as users can scale resources up or down as needed, and they only pay for what they use. Reserved instances. Cloud providers often offer the option to reserve instances or resources for a fixed term, typically one to three years. Users commit to a specific capacity and duration upfront and receive significant discounts compared to pay as you go rates. It is suitable for workloads with predictable and steady resource requirements. Spot instances. 
Spot instances allow users to bid on unused or idle compute resources that the cloud provider offers at discounted rates. The pricing fluctuates based on supply and demand, and users can access resources as long as their bid price is higher than the current spot price. Spot instances are suitable for non-time-sensitive, fault-tolerant, and cost-conscious workloads. Dedicated instances. In this model, users have dedicated physical servers or instances reserved exclusively for their use. It offers enhanced performance, security, and control over underlying hardware. Dedicated instances are typically charged on an hourly or monthly basis and are suitable for workloads with specific compliance or performance requirements. Data transfer and bandwidth. Cloud providers may charge for data transfer between different regions, availability zones, or external networks. Additionally, they may impose charges for network bandwidth usage, particularly for outbound data transfer. It's important to consider data transfer and bandwidth costs when designing cloud architectures. Storage tiers. Cloud storage services often offer different storage tiers with varying performance, durability, and cost characteristics. These tiers may include options like standard storage, infrequent access storage, archive storage, or cold storage. Users pay different rates based on the selected storage tier and the amount of data stored. Additional services and features. Cloud providers offer various additional services, such as database services, content delivery networks, monitoring tools, security services, and machine learning services. These services may have separate pricing structures based on usage or subscription models. Security and privacy concerns. Security is a top concern when it comes to cloud computing. We'll address common security challenges, such as data breaches and unauthorized access, and discuss the shared responsibility model between cloud service providers and customers. We'll also touch on privacy considerations and compliance with data protection regulations. Data breach protection and unauthorized access. Encryption is a crucial component of data protection, ensuring the security of data whether it is stored or in transit. Identity and access management systems control user access to cloud resources. Users are assigned unique identities and access permissions. Network security is a vital aspect of protecting cloud environments. Robust measures, including firewalls, intrusion detection and prevention systems, and virtual private networks, are implemented to defend against unauthorized access and network-based attacks. Security monitoring and logging systems play a crucial role in maintaining a secure environment. These systems are designed to actively monitor for any signs of suspicious activities, intrusions, or attempts to gain unauthorized access. Regular security audits and assessments are conducted to verify compliance with industry standards and regulations. Data backup and disaster recovery are essential components of cloud services, often featuring automated capabilities. These functionalities enable the creation of backups for data and establish plans for recovering from potential disasters. Security compliance is a critical aspect of cloud services, as they align with various security frameworks and regulations. These include widely recognized standards like ISO 27001, SOC2, and GDPR. Employee training and awareness programs are implemented by organizations to educate their staff about security best practices and potential threats. Cloud Shared Responsibility Models Infrastructure as a Service Shared Responsibility Model the CSP is responsible for securing the underlying infrastructure, such as physical servers, networking components, and hypervisors. They also manage and secure the virtualization layer. Customers are responsible for securing their operating systems, applications, and data that they deploy within the cloud environment. This includes configuring access controls, implementing firewalls, and applying security patches to their virtual machines. Platform as a Service Shared Responsibility Model The CSP takes care of the security of the underlying infrastructure, including the operating system, runtime, and middleware layers. They ensure the availability and security of the PAUSE platform itself. Customers are responsible for securing their applications and the data they store or process within the PAUSE environment. 
This includes implementing access controls, securing application code, and managing user access to their applications. Software as a Service Shared Responsibility Model The CSP is responsible for the security of the entire SaaS application, including the underlying infrastructure, the application code, and the data stored within the application. Customers are primarily responsible for managing user access and controlling data security and privacy settings within the SaaS application. They need to configure and enforce appropriate access controls and adhere to data protection requirements. Integration and Vendor Lock-In One challenge of cloud computing is integrating existing systems and applications with cloud services. We'll explore strategies for seamless integration and discuss the potential risk of vendor lock-in, where businesses become heavily dependent on a specific cloud provider. Strategies for Seamless Integration API Integration Utilize the APIs provided by cloud service providers to facilitate communication and data exchange between existing systems and cloud services. Hybrid Cloud Adopt a hybrid cloud approach where some applications and systems are hosted on-premises while others are migrated to the cloud. This allows for gradual integration and minimizes disruption to existing infrastructure. Integration Platforms Leverage integration platforms such as Integration Platform as a service to simplify the integration process by providing pre-built connectors, data mapping, and workflow automation capabilities. Containerization and Microservices Containerize applications using technologies like Docker and adopt a microservices architecture to facilitate the modular deployment and scalability of applications in both on-premises and cloud environments. Potential Risk Vendor Lock-In Vendor Lock-In refers to the situation where businesses become heavily dependent on a specific cloud provider, making it difficult and costly to switch to another provider or bring services back in-house. It poses several risks. Limited flexibility, dependency on proprietary cloud technologies restricts the ability to adopt alternative solutions or move between different cloud providers easily. Cost considerations, migrating away from a specific cloud provider may involve significant costs, such as rewriting code, reconfiguring systems, or training personnel on a new platform. Compatibility issues, proprietary features, APIs, or data formats may not be compatible with other platforms, leading to challenges in integrating with third-party services or transitioning to a different provider. Strategies to mitigate vendor lock-in. Adopt standards and open source. Give preference to cloud providers that adhere to industry standards and embrace open source technologies to reduce dependency on proprietary solutions. Multi-cloud or hybrid cloud. Distribute workloads across multiple cloud providers or maintain a hybrid cloud architecture to avoid exclusive reliance on a single vendor. Cloud agnostic abstractions. Implement cloud agnostic frameworks, libraries, and APIs to abstract applications from specific cloud provider dependencies, making it easier to switch providers if needed. Data portability. Design data storage and processing architecture with portability in mind, ensuring easy migration and replication of data between cloud providers or on-premises systems. Performance and reliability. In this segment, we'll discuss performance and reliability considerations. We'll cover factors like network latency, bandwidth limitations, and service level agreements. We'll also touch on strategies for optimizing performance and ensuring high availability. Performance Considerations Network Latency The distance between the user and the cloud data center can impact the response time of applications. Minimizing network latency is important to ensure optimal performance. Scalability Cloud services offer the ability to scale resources up or down based on demand. Ensuring proper scalability is essential to handle varying workloads efficiently and maintain performance levels. Resource allocation. Effectively allocating computing resources such as CPU, memory, and storage is crucial to avoid performance bottlenecks. Cloud providers offer various options for resource allocation and optimization. Data storage and retrieval. The performance of data storage and retrieval operations can significantly impact application performance. Utilizing appropriate storage options, caching mechanisms, 
and optimized data retrieval techniques is important for efficient data processing. Reliability considerations. Redundancy and high availability. Cloud providers typically offer redundancy and high availability features to ensure that applications and data are accessible even in the event of hardware failures or disruptions. This helps minimize downtime and maintain service availability. Disaster recovery. Having a robust disaster recovery plan is critical to mitigate the impact of unforeseen events. Cloud services often provide disaster recovery options such as data replication, backups, and failover mechanisms. SLAs and Uptime Guarantees Service Level Agreements SLAs, define the expected uptime and performance guarantees offered by cloud providers. Businesses should review and understand these agreements to assess the reliability of cloud services. Monitoring and alerting. Implementing robust monitoring and alerting systems allows proactive identification of performance issues or service disruptions. This enables timely response and remediation to maintain service reliability. Cloud computing's impact on the IT industry. Cloud computing is transforming the IT industry in various ways. We'll see how it's enabling digital transformation, fostering innovation, and reshaping traditional IT infrastructure. We'll also explore the emergence of cloud-native applications and the evolving roles of IT professionals. Architecture. Cloud-native apps are built using a microservices architecture, where applications are broken down into smaller, independent services that can be developed, deployed, and scaled individually. Containers. Containers, such as Docker, are used to package applications and their dependencies, providing consistency and portability across different environments. Orchestration. Container orchestration platforms like Kubernetes automate the deployment, scaling, and management of containers, allowing for seamless scaling, load balancing, and self-healing capabilities. DevOps practices. Cloud-native development embraces DevOps principles, integrating development and operations teams to ensure faster and more reliable application releases through continuous integration, continuous delivery, and infrastructure automation. Infrastructure as code. Infrastructure provisioning and management are automated using declarative code, known as infrastructure as code, with tools like Terraform and CloudFormation. Cloud services and APIs. Cloud native apps leverage cloud services and APIs extensively taking advantage of managed services provided by cloud providers to enhance functionality and reduce infrastructure management overhead. Observability. Observability is prioritized in cloud-native apps through logging, metrics, and tracing mechanisms to gain insights into application performance, troubleshoot issues, and optimize resource utilization. Evolving IT Roles. Cloud Architect. Designs and plans cloud infrastructure, considering scalability, security, and integration with existing systems. Cloud Engineer. Implements and manages cloud infrastructure, deploying applications and maintaining the cloud environment. DevOps Engineer. Automates software development, deployment, and operations processes, improving collaboration and system reliability. Cloud Security Engineer. Ensures security and compliance of cloud-based systems, implementing measures and monitoring for threats. Data Engineer. Manages and processes data in the cloud, designing data pipelines and optimizing data storage and analytics. Cloud Consultant. Provides guidance and expertise in cloud adoption, assisting with strategy and selecting the right cloud services. Cloud Operations Manager. Oversees day-to-day -day cloud operations, ensuring performance, availability, and cost optimization. Cloud Trainer and Educator. Trains and educates IT professionals in cloud technologies, delivering workshops and certifications. Cloud computing offers numerous benefits, but it's crucial to understand the challenges it presents. We've discussed the advantages, potential obstacles, and how it's transforming the IT industry. As cloud adoption continues to rise, businesses must carefully evaluate their needs and choose the right cloud solutions. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more tech-related content. Thank you for watching, and until next time, embrace the power of the cloud.